Oh no, we're going to talk about this. Readers, I have a quick question. Have any of you ever heard of this movie called The Hunt? It's an up and coming Bloomhouse movie slated for a 2019 release about a group of individuals who were stolen from their homes and placed on a mansion reserve where they're being hunted for sport by an elite group of individuals. I mean, I should say that it was slated for a 2019 release. Because now, thanks to a combination of lots of things, Universal Studios has decided to cancel the release of the movie. Here is the official statement from Universal Pictures on the matter, which they released on August 10th of 2019. While Universal Pictures has already paused the marketing campaign for The Hunt, after thoughtful consideration, the studio has decided to cancel our plans to release the film. We stand by our filmmakers and will continue to distribute films in partnership with bold and visionary creators like those associated with the satirical social thriller, but we understand that now is not the right time to release this film. Now, I can attest to not seeing that much promotion regarding the movie is concerned since I initially saw the trailer and that was it in regards to Universal's first sentence in its statement. And I'm pretty sure that was mostly due to the mass shootings in El Paso, Texas and Dayton, Ohio that happened damn near back to back. But if you're anything like me when I found out about the movie's cancellation and we're just as confused about hearing that it was supposed to be a satirical social thriller. Mostly because you weren't that interested in seeing the movie because don't let go the other Bloomhouse film coming out this year just, it just, just, just looks, just looks 10 times more interesting. That's because in The Hunt, the ones doing the hunting are marked as rich liberal elites while the hunted are deplorables. Which is Clintonese for Trump supporters. And once news of that got off the ground, Fox News and alt slash far right wing media just went crazy. Creating piece after piece about how hypocritical the studio is, how offended they were, some of them looking at the opportunity to dig up the whole not all Trump supporters argument that's just as sad and tiring back when it wore its not all men pants. But what initially got Universal to hold off on releasing the movie was Donald Trump doing what to this day he has yet to do regarding domestic white nationalist terror? Call them out. His tweets, because of fucking course they're tweets, state, and I quote, liberal Hollywood is racist at the highest level and with great anger and hate. They like to call themselves elite, but they are not elite. In fact, it is often the people that they so strongly oppose that are actually elite. The movie coming out is made in order to inflame and cause chaos. They create their own violence and then try to blame others. They are the true racists and are very bad for our country. <laughs> Dude, fuck you. You speak about true racism, a term that you unsurprisingly use incorrectly in these constantly asked nine tweets of yours and how it's bad for the country, yet multiple white individuals have taken up the easily acquirable gun to kill minorities under your name, killing over 30 people in just the month of August alone. You laugh it off whenever you mention illegal immigrants at your rallies and someone yells shoot them, knowing good and damn well that they are not joking. And while it is clear as day that you're capable of calling out people, companies, cities, states, and countries when it comes to peddling the level of treason and fascism in the Senate right now, especially when you want to feed the validation of the alt-right's constant want for victimization, you continue to hold your tongue whenever inexcusable acts of actual racism happen on a daily basis thanks to you. So much that even your own supporters are starting to get tired of the shit. Now, ever since Universal announced the Hunt's cancellation, I've heard two major takes regarding it that I'm willing to give the light of day. One, whether interested in the film or not, Universal Studios are cowards for doing this. And two, 
releasing this movie would only give the far and alt-right a reason to validate their victim complex. And as much as I understand people's mentality regarding the reasoning for option number two, let's just be honest, the far and alt-right doesn't need anything to validate their victim complex. They never did. Whenever there's a situation that they can pounce on and claim that they're being oppressed, they will clearly take advantage of. They did it with Justin Simeon's Dear White People even before it was a Netflix series. They did it with the Black Lives Matter movement spawning the all and blue Lives Matter response. And it's not gonna stop just because Universal decided to pull the hunt from the shelf. If anything, they're more than likely gonna keep up their victimization fetish by arguing online that the movie never should have been made to begin with. What's that? They're already doing that? They started the moment Universal made the decision public? <sighs> Sometimes I hate being right. <laughs> Readers, I'll be the first to admit that I have no personal stake in the race of the hunt. Like I said it before, like the purge before it, and shit, even the vow real talk, I personally have very little interest in seeing the movie, especially when the production company is planning on releasing something else later on this year that's more relevant to my interests. But when shit like this happens, when one of our top three most racist ass presidents of the modern era chooses to call out a movie studio about to release a film for all the reasons that he refuses to call out white supremacists and white nationalists on that not only he perpetuates but that do actual damage to our country it no longer matters what i personally think about the movie <sighs> just, just don't 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 forget to vote y'all please so with that being said, readers, your homework assignment for the day. Write in the comments section below your opinions on the cancellation of the movie The Hunt. Are you pro the cancellation or against the cancellation? Which one do you think is personally best? i love to know your thoughts. If you want to help financially support the channel, you can join my Patreon by clicking the card at the end of the video or in the link in the description down below, where you can also find a link to my merchandise store. Or if you prefer to give a one-time donation, you can find links to my PayPal and my coffee account in the description box as well. Also, make sure you subscribe to the channel and turn on notifications because I post new videos every Monday, Wednesday, and every other Friday. But until then, this is Redis 101. Class dismissed.